Hey, No Jumper News, it's Adam22 here with your man AD. Let's get right into these stories. Okay, so first story, Naomi Osaka, who is dating rapper Corday, formerly YBN Corday, won the US Open over the weekend and took home her third Grand Slam title while using her platform to raise social justice awareness. Throughout her run at the US Open, Naomi was spotted wearing seven different masks to all of her matches, showing her support for the Black Lives Matter movement. Each mask displayed the names of victims of police brutality and racially motivated violence. Breonna Taylor, Elijah McClain, Ahmaud Arbery, Trayvon Martin, George Floyd, Orlando Castile and Tamir Rice. After her victory, Naomi was asked about the message she wanted to get across with her mask. Her response was compelling. Well, what was the message that you got was more the question. I feel like the point is to make people start talking. While regular guests were not allowed to be in attendance for the open, Corday wearing a defund the police t-shirt was spotted on the side being a supportive boyfriend, cheering his girl on for her victory. In a video, Trayvon Martin's mother and Ahmad Arbery's father took a moment to thank Naomi for representing their sons on the mask that she wore throughout the US Open. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Ahmad's father reflected the same sentiment. I just want to tell you thank you for the support of my family and God bless you with what you are doing. I just want to say that I think this is a beautiful thing. This couple looks so ridiculously cute together. It's kind of amazing to see him in his role as a pop and rapper, but he's playing the supportive boyfriend who's in the stands observing her just perform her athletic greatness. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful thing to see. And to see them also incorporating uh, messages that they clearly are very passionate about uh, through this, I mean, it's pretty, pretty incredible. Yeah, the fact that she did that, man, was dope, man. You know what I'm saying? For all our brothers and sisters lost to police brutality, um, I, I, I seen some of the memes. Did you see him? A Corday? Yeah. He kind of was like, he didn't know if they wanted him in the picture, but he was like 35% in. Yeah. Then he came in, he was happy. I don't was blame fun. him because, to be honest, like the tennis world seems very prim and proper. And like you're mm -hmm. supposed to sit in a certain way, you're supposed to be on the court in a certain way, et cetera. So, Corday, I mean, I'm assuming he hasn't really been exposed to a whole lot of tennis in his life, but he's, uh, you know, he's figuring out how yeah. to fit in. And hey man, shout out to him, man, holding this girl down, man, being supportive. You know what I'm saying? Like when when she won, I seen him like literally cheer. Like he was he was genuinely happy for her. That That's must real, be man. Crazy. Like I'm I'm so used to dating, you know, normal girls, girls with jobs, girls with OnlyFans, etc. <laughs> the idea of like just seeing your girl go out onto the the what, what is it the tennis court the court she's out there on the court just. Exhibiting is it the greatness. Tennis court? It's a tennis court, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. She's okay. exhibiting greatness. She's one of the best in the world. She's like Michael. Jo I don't. I have no idea if she's like that good or not. But she's like Michael Jordan out there. You know, that must be a crazy thing to sit back and just watch your girl just whoop some other girl's ass. That's a, that's a beautiful thing. I agree. Next story. Nobody is quite sure about the relationship between Lil Uzi Vert and JT from the City Girls, but after JT was asked if Lil Uzi had broken up with her on The Breakfast Club, the world has been trying to figure out what's really going on between the two. Though they've never confirmed that they were dating, fans have speculated that they might be due to a song lyric in Uzi's low main and some cryptic tweets. Just last week, JT was going back and forth on Twitter with the woman who kissed Lil Uzi Vert in a viral picture. Now Lil Uzi has decided that he wanted to call out Lil Yachty for something that he did two years ago. <laughs> Uzi tweeted out, Lil Yachty, where you at? You know what you did in 2018. What I do, Yachty responded before Uzi hit him back with JT. Lil Uzi's tweet has since been deleted, but Lil Yachty's response is still up. He shared a funny gif showing a man saying, come look at this before his friends laugh and run away. It's hard to tell if this is a real beef or all fun and games. Last year though, JT did accuse Lil Yachty of cheating on her while she was in prison. What a strange way to inform Lil Yachty that you might be offended by something he did in 2018. Like if you were dating a girl in 2020, would you care that her ex-boyfriend cheated on her while she was in prison in 2018? I, I would not care. That's just none of my business. That nigga don't care, man. He's right. joking around. Right, he, he has to be joking around, right? Because, and, and was Yachty even really dating JT during that? Like, are we supposed to believe all this? I feel like there's so many moving parts to this puzzle that I don't really even necessarily believe or understand. Yeah, man. And shout out to her, man. She held it down. Going to prison, man. I would have married her for that. What do you think about JT and Uzi, though? That's kind of a wild couple. I don't think so. You don't think so? Nah. I think she can um, win the next tennis court match. How tall is she? I feel like she might be like kind of dominant. I don't know. Her. I ain't ran into her yet. No? Uh -uh. If you do, you, she might get you in the scamming game. The allegedly. It's too late? Allegedly. Oh, okay. He's already scamming. I can tell. I can tell. Officer? 
I'm scamming no jumper right now as we speak. <laughs> Wink twice if AD is extorting you. Yes. <laughs> Okay, last story. XXXTentacion fans have called out Lil Bow Wow over the cover art for his upcoming song. Over the weekend, Bow Wow shared a snippet of a new song titled Bad Vibes with his followers. The clip featured the Broken Heart logo that X used during his career and even had tattooed on his face. Bow Wow with the braids is back, he tweeted as the caption. DJ Scheme was quick to call out Bow Wow, retweeting his post and writing, delete this Lil Bro trust. After some time, Bow Wow ended up deleting his tweet, but not before getting on the bad side of X fans. One X fan commented, yeah, it might be too late. Bao has fucked up. Like, is he drunk? What would make his ass think this is okay? It's not. This kid is on the list of other disrespectful humans towards XXXTentacion. It's unclear if the song was a tribute to X or if Bao was paying some type of homage, but fans did not seem to see it that way. Bao has yet to respond to the situation. You know, you kind of feel for these rich celebrities living off in their mansions and stuff because they're not necessarily familiar with what the logo is or what the song name was from all these different different pop and underground artists, you know, you, you kind of got a feel for somebody like Bow Wow that he probably wasn't paying the closest attention to X's career. So I'm willing to give him a pass on this. I think it's probably good that he deleted it just because whatever he did musically or artistically on this project was definitely going to be overshadowed by the fact that apparently it was going to look like an X project. So it was probably a smart move on his part. Man, that nigga didn't know nothing about that, man. And it's funny that DJ Scheme said, hey, take this down. He knew the storm was going to come. But I think it's funny that Scheme said, take this down a little, bro. Because if I'm a little Bow Wow and I'm like 30-something, I'm going to be kind of offended by DJ Scheme, who realistically has only been in the game for a couple years and is like 10 years younger than him, hitting him with a little bro. You know, people get very sensitive about the little bro. So what, he ain't older than him? Scheme is, is, a, is a youngin'. He's like early 20s, whereas I think... Uh, Bow Wow's got to be, what, like mid-30s or something? But you got to understand, bro, we, you know, shout out to Shad, man. That's the homie, cool. Feel me? It's, we know him as Calvin Cambridge, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That nigga, that's the nigga, you know what I'm saying? Dunking on, dunking on the old NBA players, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, people still see him as little. That's why I care. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I would still be offended if I was Bow Wow. I would still be like, who are you? Who are you throwing a little at me? For sure. Yeah. Little bro and me. I've known a lot of rappers who got very offended by the little bro thing over the years. That's all I'm saying. Don't call me little bro. Okay, YouTubers, this has been No Jumper News featuring Adam22 and AD. We appreciate all you guys. Please smash the like, smash the comment, and we will be back real, real soon. Make sure you subscribe too, right? You want to do one of these? Hit them high. Elbow. Nah. Social distance. <laughs>